in this video, I'm going to share with you a route combination or concept that you can utilize out of trip side in that is really going to take advantage of when your opponent is running a lot of cover four drop, especially whenever they're using the left side of the field. They're trying to basically play a 30 yard cloud on your trips tight or on your uh, tight end side to try to stop your crossers, but they're really not kind of, they're kind of um, taking for granted the trips side of the field. So, so one of my favorite concepts in the game is great blitz beater. It's a great man beater. It's a great zone beater. It's a really good match beater as well. So I'm excited to talk about this with you today. Uh, this is going to be out of the new England Patriots playbook. If you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to do that. I also wanted to let you know that, again, if you want to get all of my ebooks, uh, I've got 15 offensive and defensive guides. The cool part is by joining my Patreon, you can get all of those for just $10 a month. Uh, and again, as long as your subscription is active, you're going to get every update to those ebooks, which we release updates typically two to three times, maybe four times a week. Um, and then you're also going to get access to any new ebooks that we create. So you're not only just going to get the Trips Tied In ebook for $10, but you're going to get all of them. And uh, I've got a ton of really good stuff in there, and we've got a lot more that I'm going to be adding. Uh, I did hurt my uh, my knee, and so uh, it has kind of set me back a little bit, but uh, we're still kind of cranking stuff out. So anyways, just hang with me. Trust me, uh, there's going to be a lot of good stuff dropping in the Patreon over the course of the next week to two weeks. Really, really excited about some of the content that we have coming out. Now, uh, we're going to be talking today about a concept. Now, you can do this out of one of two plays. Um, it's really up to you. It's honestly, if you want to run a five-out setup versus if you want to run a, um, a blocked running back. So if you want to run a five-out setup, I'd recommend running double and sale. But if you want to run a blocked running back, then I'd recommend running play, play action slot corner. The cool part about trip side end too is like it's all set up for you. PA corner is already in your audibles. Verticals is already in your audibles. Base is always in your audibles. And then I like to put curl flat on my audibles. So we're just going to come out in doubles and sail, but I'll audible with PA corner and show you a four out setup where you can pr pick up pressure and still basically run the same concept. And then I'll also show you a five out setup, which is really, really good, especially if they – are running a lot of Mabel on you. It's really, really good for Mabel coverage. So uh, doubles and sale is where we're gonna start out with. And like I said, we're gonna primarily focus on cover four drop because when people play trip side in, um, this, this for whatever reason, cover four drop, especially when they base a line and press it, and I'll show you what happens. So if I were to run, if I were to run, you know, PA counter go, right? Just a crosser. Um, what you'll see is that this uh, corner in that deep quarter will sometimes play it, right? Especially if they baseline and press it. So if you're getting a lot of cover four drop, what you could do is you could go to this setup and especially if they baseline and press it, okay? So what we're gonna do with this is we're going to streak the slot receiver. We're going to curl Mike Evans and we're going to drag our tight end. We're gonna motion Mike Evans across and we're gonna snap the ball right outside of the 20 yard line numbers. And what you're gonna see here is that the circle receiver, the corner, is gonna get wide open over there. And you notice that it's gonna go about 35 yards. So what this is gonna force them to have to do is they're gonna to have to have a 30 yard cloud flat zone on that, side of the, on that side of the field. And to be honest with you, they really kind of need it out of a cover two look. Um, if they don't have it out of a cover two look, to me it's not as good, and I'll show you why. So. Um, if you think about it, be, this Mike Blitz 3, and I'm just going to set up a general Mabel coverage. We'll show it against cover 3 real quick. I want you to watch what happens when I motion. That's why the motion is so important. Whenever I motion, what you should see here is that this slot corner is going to come inside. What that's going to do is it's going to give my slot receiver outside leverage, and oftentimes you see how he gets over the top. Now, again, I know that I don't have zone drops equipped in this video, but that is something that happens very, very consistently. Also notice that that, that corner out on a doubles and sale, if you go to PA corner and look real closely here, you're gonna notice a little bit of a nuance. So double and sale corner is a little sharper, whereas the PA slot corner is a little bit more to the sideline. And it does look fairly similar, uh, but again here, let me see if I can, there's PA corner. So you see how it's kind of, it takes a little divot under, whereas doubles and sale, you see that it doesn't take really that divot. Show you that real quick. There you go. So you see how it's a straight line. So that's something, just a real subtle nuance that you might want to be aware of. 
And then the other thing that I really like about this setup here is this curl route on the left side, the flat route for the table route from the back is gonna pull all the zones out of the way, often, oftentimes. Um, and they're not gonna be able to cover this curl without using it. And if you think about it, most of the time, they're gonna be doing something like this. They're gonna have a cloud over here or an outside quarter. This guy is really for like your slant post. They're gonna probably leave this guy in his zone because he does do a decent job at defending slant post. And then they're gonna use her here. If they're running cover, true cover four, that's kind of what their strategy is gonna be. So what's really cool about this is they have to make a decision. Are they gonna guard the corner or are they gonna guard the drag uh, to the tight end? And then the best part of everything here is this Mabel concept on the left, it really can't cover that, as you can see. So that's why this is such a good uh, such a good concept. Now it's also really good if your opponent is wanting to run a lot of match. So if they're wanting to run a lot of match coverage, you're gonna do, this is a great route, route concept. And the reason why is because curls are really tough to defend in match coverage. And also you'll notice that this, eh, threw it a little bit too early there, uh, but this corner route, you're going to get kind of an isolation, if you will, on the on the corner. So the safety that is guarding the corner route is going to kind of get isolated, and we're going to kind of manipulate him, especially with the route running ability on that player. So you'll see right here, route running ability. Didn't quite get a great animation. I'm not getting great animations for whatever reason. But, of course, I could have checked that down to the tight end. I could have hit the curl. Let me show it to you one more time here. And I, think, I actually think the PA slot corner might be a little better against match. Um, but anyway, let's show it one more time. There you see. That's kind of what I'm looking at. And that happens fairly consistently, whether it be palms, quarters. It really doesn't matter. Um, you're going to see that a lot against match. So now what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you a um, one more thing on this. So... If they're playing a true cover for a drop, if they're smart, what they'll do is they'll shade, like they'll shade down, and then they'll repurple and cloud on the side. That's gonna make this guy play a lot better in terms of slant post. That's gonna make this guy play better in terms of taking the flat, and then that's gonna make this guy play, or their user is gonna have to make the decision. So what they're likely to do is, let's say for example, they say, well, we're gonna go ahead and take the corner route, okay? Which is, and again, this is probably one of the I think Skimbo was the first one that was trying to run some cover four. It might have been Drini, actually, but uh, one of those two guys really popularized this defense against trips. Well, you're still, you still have this, and they're going to have to have, they really are going to have to use it all the way around. And this is about as good a defense as you can get, honestly, because they're, let's just assume that they take this guy out of the play right here. And then uh, on this back side here, we'll just run it like that. Okay? Let's just assume that they're able to guard. Uh, Godwin and then you know just for fun we're gonna drop a three wreck right here and this is an all-out coverage it's a pretty good one actually if you think about it especially if they have good user this is gonna be a pretty good coverage for this defense or for this uh, for this concept but what's really what they forget about oftentimes with this is your drag to your tight end and then most importantly your curl right there okay so your curl route is really what's gonna kind of keep you going um, in terms of if they have just absolutely incredible adjustments and they're able to do all of this, you're still going to be able to hit them with a curl route over here on the back side. And I'll show it one more time. And the cool part is you could out route, wheel route, whatever you want to the back. Whatever you think is going to work well. If they're not guarding the back, I'm getting terrible animations in this video, uh, but if they're if they're not guarding the back, you can hit that as well. So you've got options. Now let's talk about a four out setup. So if you're worried about pressure, and typically you know if you get a look like this, you're not too worried about pressure. But let's just say you are worried about pressure. Um, what you can do is you can go with this same basic setup here, and I'll just show. I mean the corner route's going to be wide open, so I don't have to necessarily show that anymore. But again, this is basically like perfect adjustments. We're talking like perfect, perfect adjustments. Um, then you're going to curl this guy up right in here. You're going to curl him up just a little bit early, and what you'll see is the zones really won't cover that. You can kind of you can kind of aggressive catch that and cut that off. And then lastly, if you're really if they're if you're really worried and they're you you know they're really kind of dropping a lot, like they're dropping, for example, they're dropping this and this here. 
and you want to kind of have something that's a little bit better, you know they're probably shading down and like you've seen this before kind of thing. What you can do also out of this concept is you could take this backside player uh, out of PA corner and you could put him on a, you could put the tight end on a drag and then you can put this guy on a smart routed in route once he motions. So you see this is what it looks like right here. You're gonna snap him kind of right in here. And now, I mean, obviously, because they're gonna have to drop everybody back, right? So as a late read, you can kind of high point that and get that over if they're shading underneath, like, you know, they have to, to stop other things in your offense. So, uh, you know, obviously with perfect adjustments, it is gonna be hard to stop this or hard to, you know, if they just have absolutely impeccable adjustments, it's still really hard because that corner route is so deep and it just forces them to have to have a 30-yard cloud over there. And to be honest with you, 30-yard clouds don't always guard it. They, they, they really don't. Um, and, of course, like I said, I'm dropping eight people, nine people in perfect areas specifically for this play. There's so much else that's going to be open, you know, if they – but I'm telling you, you could trust that route right there. I would really encourage you to try to run that because they have to make a, a crap ton of adjustments to even have a chance to stop this concept. So – Anyways, guys, that's the video. That's what I wanted to talk about. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn the entire ebook, you want to get better at the game, uh, my Patreon is only $10 a month, and you get access to everything, literally everything. Um, all my ebooks are linked in there for free for you. As soon as, well, I guess not free, but as soon as you sign up for the $10 a month, you get everything. Um, it's all inclusive, and you get all the updates, and you get any new ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, it's a really, really good deal. And like I said, it's only $10 a month. There's a link in the description below if you want to go sign up for that right now. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you want to check out the Patreon, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you.